you and me forever. Now, I'm not talking about our relationship, although the sentiment is very much the same. I do love you, and hopefully that's reciprocated and will be until the end of time. I am, in fact, talking about the new film from Casper Monk, Danish film You and Me Forever. It's a coming-of-age story, and you might be thinking, oh, but I've seen so many coming-of-age stories. What's different about this one? Well, not a lot, but the execution of the film is pretty fantastic. And why that is, is because Monk just has this real knack of knowing how young people are. He has a real ear and a real eye for the observation of people at that age. The plot is pretty straightforward. It follows central character Laura, who has been for some time, we imagine, best friends with Christine. And they believe they're going to be best friends forever, hence the title. Um, but that all changes when a new girl called Maria comes to school and moves into the town and becomes friends with Laura. Laura actually finds herself becoming increasingly fascinated and somewhat obsessed um, with with Maria. And there's even a blurring of friendship and sort of sexual orientation and kind of uncertainty. There's also an uncertainty between her relationship with Christina from here on out because although she has been best friends with her since however long, her fascination and her friendship and, and whatever may lay between her and Maria begins to kind of corrode the relationship she has with Christine. And from there, that is where the plot basically lies. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. It has been done before, but the conviction and the, the manner in which it is delivered, both from the director's perspective and from the ensemble cast of newcomers that star in the film, is just fantastic. The performances in particular, as I believe this film was pretty much unscripted, there was a basic outline of uh, what was going to happen in the scene, but in terms of lines of dialogue and reaction, I believe it was pretty much left up to the, the players in the film, and they do an amazing job with it. And they do a really great job of kind of keeping it real and grounded and natural and really earnest and kind of bringing you into the fold of their story. And you feel like you're actually spending time with these people uh, rather than just kind of being a voyeur to what's going on from an outside perspective. You actually feel like you are brought into the lives of what's happening here in the lives of these people. And for that reason, it makes it such a really believable and kind of compelling drama at times. Although it is the acting, the performances and the character development which really strike the major chords within this film, everything that works within you and me forever is really sort of extenuated and punctuated further by Monk's delivery and his directing. Whether it be the framing of his angles, close-up shots, uh, editing techniques, or even the soundtrack which accompanies the film, which just is such a beautiful addition, and it's honestly one of the best soundtracks I've heard this year. It just fits the film beautifully, and it kind of makes it into this sort of navel-gazing, sort of uh, hazy, kind of ethereal feel, but at the same time very grounded and very real. It's got a real nice duality to it, and because of that it makes it more complex than your average coming-of-age drama and more uh, effective, essentially. Despite there being countless numbers of coming-of-age dramas produced through the years, it's proven through time to be pretty hard to get it accurate and to kind of nail it. But You and Me Forever pretty much does it. It's it's heartwarming, it's sad, it's solemn, it's heartbreaking, it's, it's very emotional, it's very simple, it's very straightforward, but there is real depth to the film and it shines really brightly. Uh, I was really surprised by this. I really like it. Going to give it an 8. And if you're in the mood for some coming-of-age Danish tales, then you should definitely check it out too.